Within hours of his death, Michael Jackson was uh, back in an old familiar spot on top of the popular music charts. He's now taking up top 16 slots on the Amazon.com bestseller list and on iTunes, 20 of Jackson's albums are among the top 30 sellers. Those are just a few indications that Michael Jackson was a transcendent figure, one that may never be repeated given the changing world. David Wright explains why. To call Michael Jackson a superstar is no exaggeration. The term itself entered the language about the time the Jackson 5 started performing, coined by Andy Warhol, who famously predicted someday everyone would be famous for 15 minutes. Well, Michael Jackson was famous for more than 21 million minutes. Appropriately enough, when Time magazine devoted a cover to Michael Jackson in 1984, the year that Thriller swept the Grammys, the artist they commissioned was, guess who? The king of pop as an icon of pop art. In sheer star power and wardrobe on a par with the Pope, his face recognizable anywhere on the planet. Not many people alive today can claim that fame. While a handful of other pop stars have reached those heights before, many say it'll never happen again. Michael could be the last. I think there's little question that the era of the superstar like we saw it in the 1980s, is over. It's not just celebrity physics, the concept that the stars that burn brightest tend to burn out fastest. Think Britney Spears, another singing and dancing sensation who also fell from grace. It's more that the industry that made MJ a superstar has changed forever. No one's going to sell 20, 30 million records anymore. It's not gonna happen. You know what the most popular iTunes is? Don't Stop Believin' by Journey. Two million downloads and counting. By Monday, Michael Jackson could easily catch up. Thriller is likely to keep its place in the record books for the simple reason that people no longer buy records. They don't watch music videos either. Turn on MTV these days, and it's all reality TV shows. Pop music now happens online, on MySpace, iTunes, and Twitter. We no longer see the people who have access to media as any better than us, because we all have access to this media. These days, we're probably a lot closer to Andy Warhol's prediction. 15 minutes of fame for everyone, but no more Michael Jackson's. For Good Morning America, David Wright, ABC News, Washington. I hear you. Good to see you, sir. Okay.